What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent me with a word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but I know somebody needs this message, okay? Because listen, God gave us a prophetic dream, and then he gave me confirmation to share this word with the family. So I know this is for more than me. So y'all stick around. This is going to definitely bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without commenting or sharing a video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, family, listen, before we get into the word, we're going to go ahead and pray in the Holy Spirit, because y'all know, we don't do nothing here without God, right? All right, pray with me, family. And Father God, we come before you today, Lord Jesus, as humble as possible, just thanking you for who you are. And God, we thank you for keeping us yet another day, Father God. We thank you for your love, Father God. Thank you for loving us so much that you would give your only son. And Jesus, we thank you for shedding your blood on our behalf today. Thank you. Father, I thank you for your sons and daughters that have been led to this video, Father. I pray that they would have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Lord, let it be your voice that is heard, Father God. Speak through me. I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to fill me up. And this flesh will step aside, God. Speak to your children. It is in Jesus' mighty name that I ask. Amen, amen, amen. All right, family, listen, I don't know who needs this word, but again, I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Y'all, This I am so excited bringing this word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but I got this thing on yesterday. God gave us a prophetic dream. And I really didn't put it all together, right? I didn't put it all together. But then I, I have this young lady that I've been following on YouTube for about two years, right? Since I picked up the my cross and started things like that. And I trust her because God has confirmed her words through other um, spirit-led individuals, his other vessels, right? Let me know one band, one sound, right? All right, listen, y'all. So God gave me the dream, and then he gave me the scripture, and then I went on her live. Yeah, I haven't been on a live for her, and her name is Sunray, right? Um, I believe it's the Healing Prophecy on YouTube, right? Because I started, when I started watching her, she was it was Sunray Speaks, right? But y'all, this girl, when I tell y'all everything God has been giving us as a family since January, okay? This girl touched on all of that in 10 minutes. Okay, in 10 minutes, y'all know, we, we, we started with happy birthday. I remember, and I went back to that word like a week ago, right? She came on a live saying happy birthday to you, y'all. It blessed me so good. She was like, you don't even know that God is giving you a new birthday, right? So she's like, when you get this gift, let me get y'all a dream. Then I'm going to tell y'all everything else, right? Hi, all added up. Listen, whoever this is for, baby, I'm about to bless you, okay? Let me bless you. God say, I got, ooh, what I have in store for you. Listen, let me tell you this. So this is what happened in a dream, right? So in my dream, I remember being in a front room. So in a, in, this, in this house, right? In a living room, right? So in a living room, y'all know like on oh, old school sitcoms, I think they still do it now. Um, they had it set up like this. I just don't really watch TV like that, right? <laughs> so, um, but you know, like on Family Matters, Living Single and stuff like that, it will always have like a kitchen with a swing door that goes to the living area, right? So this is how this house was set up. I don't know who house it was, but... It was, I was in a living area with my mom and like my daughters, right? So as we we're getting ready to go out the door, I just remember us picking up like our purses and stuff like that, getting ready to go out the door. I was the last one, all right? Stay with me. This going to bless somebody. So as I'm the last person going out, right before we get to go out the door, this guy comes from the kitchen, right? But he comes with this big brown box. Listen to me, y'all. And then he puts it on the coffee table, right? Like an end table, right? I remember it being like a, a round end table. Brown wood end table. Um, and he looked over at me and said, Hey, can you uh before you go, can you wait and do something for me uh, for a minute, right? He said, Can you do something for I need you to do something for me, right? And I remember being in a dream, like, well, do I have time? You know what I'm saying? So as they walking out the door, I turned back and it flashed to me and him looking down in the box and so when we looking in a box i just remember how amazed my face looked and he looked up at me this guy looked up at me and said 
I told you. He said, see, I told you I would do whatever for you. Listen to me. He said, see. I told you I would do whatever for you. And when I woke up the next day, I remember this guy. I remember the guy, right? I know who the guy is. He's like one of my friends, but I know all he, he ever, ever since I met him, he will always tell me, um, you can have whatever you like. If you ask, y'all know like the T.I. song, you can have whatever you like, right? He will be like, you can have whatever you like if you ask. And that's what God is saying. He's like, I want my children to know they can have whatever they like if you ask, right? Let me bless y'all, y'all. So when the girl hit me on the dream, like when she hit, I'm sorry, when she hit me on the uh the live, she was like, yeah, it's your birthday. And then she said something about the number 10, baby. That was the spinning things too. And then she went to saying uh about getting in position. Y'all know we just, uh, I just dropped the word, family, about us getting in place. God is putting us in position. Amen. But when I tell you, that girl blessed me so good. And I was like, God, I got to drop this word. Okay. So whoever this is for, I wanted to drop this thing last night. Okay. But I was not able to. I was a little busy. I was tied up. Okay. I wasn't able to, but I pray that this thing reaches you today. I pray that this thing reaches you today. Okay, because she blessed me, baby. And I say, that's when God say, this is for more than you, Hogan. This is for more than you. This is for more than you. Okay, so I know this is for more than me. So, uh, y'all, let me give you the scripture after I prayed about it. This is what God gave me. He said, you can have whatever you like. One thing is he showed it to me in private, though I was in a living area. He waited till everybody else left. So it's some people that you may feel like, some of you guys may feel like your blessing is delayed. Or you're not going to get it. God said, I had to remove some people before I gave you this thing. Amen. But remember, your name is already on it. And the box was already there. Like, he had the box bringing it to me. So, it was being delivered, right? It was being delivered to my front room. Oh, baby, you better receive that thing by faith. It was being delivered to your front room, baby. Listen to me. And it was like, I thought he was asking me to do something. Right? I thought he was asking me to do something. But... It was a surprise for me. He said, can, I need you to do something for a minute. Can you can you come do something for me? But the something for him was to surprise me. God said, baby, let me let me get y'all the scripture. Then I'm gonna tell y'all what God said. God said, because I want you to know, I want I want this for you. And whatever God it has in store for you, baby, it's something he promised you that he desired for you. Do you hear me? Baby, you better receive this thing by faith. Let me tell y'all, this is what God said. He said, I need you to stop doubting. Listen to he said, why did you even ask me? And the re and how he gave it to me so deep, it led me back to how he says, see. The guy says, see, I told you. God is like, I'm. I, when he says, see, I told you, it's almost like, you thought I wasn't going to do that thing for you? You thought I wasn't going to come through like I was... I'm God. Come on now. I'm God, baby. Don't doubt me. Come on. I don't know who you are, but God wants you to not doubt him, baby. He wants you to know that doubt and belief could not live in the same house. Listen to me. God say, y'all to tell him doubt and belief does not live in the, live in the same house. He said, I need you to stop doubting because I want to give this to you. Come on now. He said, I want to give this to you so bad, but I can only do it if you believe like that. Come on now. Do you believe like that, baby? What that belief? Do you hear me? God say, what that belief do? I don't know who this is for, baby. God want to know, do you believe like that? Amen. He said, baby, you can't doubt. Let me tell you. He said, you can't doubt me and believe me at the same time. Okay, do you believe like that? If you receive this thing and you believe like that, somebody say, I believe like that. Come on now, I believe like that. You gotta remember every miracle that Jesus did. He told him you are saved because of your faith. Come on now, you are healed because of your belief. Come on now, somebody say, I believe like that. Do you believe like that? Do you believe that God will do the impossible for you? Come on now. Do you believe he's going to come through on his promise? Somebody say, I believe like that. Type it out, family. Come on. Somebody say, I believe like that. Listen, this is what God gave me. He gave me John 1, verses 6. I'm sorry, James 1. James 1, verses 6 through 8. James 1, verses 6 through 8. It says, but when you ask, you must believe. Come on now. You must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed in the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Come on now. God say, I don't want you to doubt me because I want to give this thing to you. Do you hear me? God said, I want to give it to you so bad. I'm asking you. I'm begging you not to doubt me. Because you ain't going to get it unless you believe. I'm telling you, God said, you're going to have to believe I'm going to do this thing for you. Okay? I'm telling you. And then it says, such a person 
is double-minded and unstable in all that they do. God say, baby, I want to be able to trust you with this thing. Come on now. In order for God to trust you, he got to trust you in the process. Will you stop doubting your father today? I'm telling you, God say doubt and faith could not share the same space. I come up against, let me tell you, oof, thank you, Lord Jesus. God come up against the spirit of doubt right now for everyone under the sound of my voice. Come on now. God say, I want to give you this thing so bad. So Holy Spirit, we come up against it right now, Lord. Help us wherever we don't know that we're doubting, Father God. Reveal it to us so we can tackle that thing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, because guess what, baby? The devil loves a doubter. You know God said he loves a, uh, yesterday he said he loves a, um, a desperate person, but he loves a doubt or two. Come on now. He loves a doubt or two. Come on now. It, let me get y'all. This guy told me, look up the word doubt. Okay. It said it's a person that, or, or when you, when you not to believe or accept something, right? And that's why God is saying you can't believe and doubt at the same time. You're going to have to choose to believe what your father has spoken to you. You're going to have to choose to believe what your father has shown you. You're going to have to choose to believe what your father has promised you. Do you choose to believe today? Come on now. Do you choose to believe today? Somebody say, I choose to believe. Come on. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, I choose to believe. Come on. Type that thing out, family. Somebody say, I choose to believe. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you, God, so you think they may not, you act like he may not be telling the truth, baby. You better act like you know he's telling the truth. That's faith, amen? Faith is acting like God was telling the truth, and you better act like you know. Because God said, baby, I have a gift for you, baby. I'm telling you, he said, baby, I'm about to, I'm going to break you down. I just keep hearing, he's like, I'm going to I'm gonna get tears from you. And you might be like, I don't, I, don't, I don't even like surprises. Nobody can't surprise me. Nothing don't surprise me no more these days. God said, I'm about to surprise you. I don't know what God has in store for you, family. I don't know who this is for, but I pray that this thing reaches you and I pray that it blesses you because God has been giving us this thing. He's been ministering. He has been ministering this thing to us since January, all year. Okay, so whatever it is, I'm telling you, God say, baby, it is about to be delivered to your front room. Come on now. It is about to be delivered to your house. Come on now. It is about to be delivered in Jesus' name. Receive this thing by faith, family. Listen, I love y'all so much. I love you with the love of God, family. Okay, thank y'all so much for the love, the comments, the shares. Listen, the new subscriber, what's up, family? The new followers. I love y'all so, so much. I thank y'all for the emails of encouragement. Okay, your prayer requests. I have received your prayer requests. I am praying over them, okay? Even if I don't reply, remember I only reply to what the Holy Spirit leads me to reply to, but I did get your prayer request, okay? Family, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love, the support. I thank God for just being able to be up here before you all. Praise and honor goes to him. Come on now. All glory to the Father. Amen. I thank y'all for the donations, the seeds you guys have been sowing into the, in the ministry, okay? To the vision that God has here with the family, what he's going to do through us, guys. I thank you, okay? Okay. I pray that he will give it back to you. Okay, a hundredfold. In Jesus' name, I am praying. All right, y'all go out and live a blessed life. You know, the blessed life comes from first, being a blessing.